Hi, my name's Simon Hater. Today I'm going to tell you how to add schema markup to your local business website. Um, I've thrown together a quick mock-up of a pretend company called Ping Pang Do, uh, which specializes in events. Um, just something I've quickly thrown together, just, just purely for this demo. So um, I'm going to hop over into the source, which is here. I'm going to copy and paste that into our testing tool, which is provided by Google. Um, I'll provide that in the description on the YouTube. Uh, I've clicked preview and it's no data detected. So what we want to do is add those extra elements, markups to our page so Google can get a bit more information about it. It may appear in the search results, it may not. It varies from niche to niche, but uh, having it won't hurt your rankings. Um, so you might as well go ahead and add it. Um, so let's jump back to this website and explain a few fields. So I've got my logo up here. I've got a company name here, I've got our address down in the left here, and I've got our number here. I've also got a little description going on here, um, like a little tagline. However, if you don't have that, you can always use uh, like a bit of the description down here, which I'll explain in a moment. So let's not waste any time. Let's go straight into the code. So here's our HTML. Um, I'm going to add the markup as we go. i am actually got all the markup I want to add. I've copied and pasted it from the schema website. So the first thing we want to do is we want to specify local business. Um, now if you are an organization you could just change that to organization. However um, in this example we're going to use local business. So I'm going to add it to the body tag. Now you can use it in a container, a wrapper or div element or anything like that. Um, as long as it's closed off at the end, it doesn't matter. I generally use body because I know it closes itself off. Um, so now that I've got that markup, I want to delete the opening div and the closing div so we know where we are. The next thing we want to do is basically copy our company name. So uh, span uh, item prop equals name. So let's find our company name, which is here. I'm going to paste that in. Now, it's uh, Ultimate Fun Events is just like a little tagline. So that does not need to be included. So I'm going to end the span there. I'm going to go back to the other tab. Delete that so, again, we know where we are. And I'm going to cut the description. So they got a superb collection of fine gifts and clothing uh, description. You can have you can have it as long as you like. However, um, it, you should be able to summarise what your company does within a short paragraph. That works best. Um, otherwise, you're gonna uh, bore people reading it, which will defeat the object. I'm just gonna cut that and put it within the brackets. Okay, so we've done our description. We specialise in providing the very best and fun events in the south coast of the United Kingdom. So. Now we want our address. Now this is actually in its own element. You can see it opens up item prop address. So we need to keep that formatting. So I'm going to cut that. Go back to our template. And I'm going to cut from here. Item prop. Because I've got a div element which I'm going to paste it into here. So it does work with classes, so I've still got my class, large six columns, and then I've got my item propped, and it's going to specify our address. Now we need to do um, the street address, so I'm going to paste it into there. Now we're going to do uh, where we are, lo local, so we're in pool. I'm then going to copy the region, which in our case is Dorset, and then I'm going to copy the postcode, and I'm going to put it in the postcode element. Now what I'm going to do is we need to close those uh, spans off. So if you notice I wasn't actually closing them off as we go because I'm doing it now. So let's cut and paste or copy and paste. So do it before the commas. So the full stop there. So that is our address. Now let's do um, let's do the telephone number. So our telephone number's here. So add that there. 
Now, if you notice, it's not a part of um, the address. It's actually a part of uh, the business. Um, so you don't have to worry about opening a, an item prop at all. So that's closed off. Oh, so let's let's do the logo now. So if I copy and paste this. Scroll up to our menu bar, just plonk that there so I know what I'm doing. So let's cut out that. Let's do item prop URL. And let's do item prop logo in the actual image. Um, so uh, with the image, ensure that you do the alt tag. So ping pang do logo to delete all of that so don't need it no more let's tidy up this a little bit let's save that and make sure I've got all the elements here okay um, in the URL field um, you can just put uh, forward stroke however under the schema it does recommend that you do uh, the full website address dot com uh, as a part of the URL so I'm going to save that I'm actually going to copy it and I'm going to put it into the testing tool and I'm going to see what data it's able to extract so you can see that it's a local business it's got our URL it's got our logo uh, it's got our name it's got our description and uh, address item one which is our address down here it's got our street address uh, where we are our region and our postcode and it's also got our telephone number there you can go one step further and add images um, uh, to that which I'll show you on the schema page in a moment um, there was one thing I needed to do with the logo it's best um, best to use the full path if you see here it's put www.example.com that's because it's expecting the source to be um, the full address and not uh, a local uh, reference so if I actually put that in you can see now it's actually got the full address instead of example so remember to do the full address with your pictures now let's jump over to uh, local business on the schema website. Now I could have gone with um, with sports activity location instead of local business. Uh, schema is actually uh, extending this list all the time. So if you can actually um, pick a, a niche instead of local business, then by all means I could have used uh, entertainment business instead. Um, if you're a shop, you can use store or shopping centre. If you're, you know, you've got many shops within your shopping centre and whatnot. Um, I hope that that's helped. If you have any questions, please use the comments below, and I'll try and answer any as soon as possible. Thank you.